Okay, very good. Welcome, everyone. Glad you could join us. So we're very happy to have, this is our very first um, talk in this seminar that we're hoping to have regularly. Um, so Dong Ming Gang is going to speak to us about this recent paper that um, got us all very excited. Um, and he's going to talk to us about in theoretic genesis of topological phases. Oh, go right ahead. So, okay. oh, just before you start, uh, if you want to ask a question, can we just say, you know, that's, yeah. that's okay? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Free, to, free to interrupt me. So, yeah, yeah. so yeah. more questions and they more relaxed for me. So, yeah, yeah, so okay. I don't want to isolate it. And, uh, yeah. That, that's so, the reason I, I don't want to advise too much because, you know, I know if there are too many people, you have to raise your hands or something. I think we can just interrupt you if we need yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Reason, Thank you. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so thank you very much. So I'm now some, some uh, I'm now at the, some JRG leader at the APCTP in Korea. So, so this work is based on my recent work with uh, Gilyong Jo and the Hichir Kim. Both of them are some professor at the Postec. So we share the same the building, uh, some same campus. So we we usually have a dinner, a lunch together, and uh, we, we often discuss the physics. And this is how we start to collaborate on this project. So let me uh, let me uh, start uh, my talk by briefly uh, explain the, the some way some some various approach to the uh, approach of the constructing the two plus one dimensional topological phase. I think I don't need to introduce the why the topological phase is important and why it's interesting. So I skip that part. So so I think that I don't need to emphasize that. And so so one uh, very uh, so two two engineer the two plus one d quantum uh, topological phase. We start from the some two plus one dimensional quantum system. So two plus one dimensional quantum system, there is a very well, a way to approach this quantum system. One very some intuitive and uh, uh, some nice uh, approach is using some lattice Hamiltonian. So since we are considering two plus one dimensional topological space, so we consider some space which is two dimensional. So you can consider this as a plane, and uh, and uh, some for each lattice we assign some Hilbert space. So for toric code cases, so we assign a two-dimensional Hilbert space, and then the, we choose some particular Hamiltonian so acting on the, some uh, this uh, lattice. So for simplicity, we assume that this Hamiltonian is, uh, has only neighborhood interactions. So most famous example is the so-called toric code, and uh, we know the exact uh, we know the, how to solve this uh, toric code exactly. It means that we can Diagonalize Hamiltonian, and all can obtain the, some eigenstate. Another uh, uh, well known is that using the, some continuum quantum field theory approaches. So, in the in three plus, two plus continuum quantum field theory can be determined by choice of the gauge group and the meta content. And with the, with the, can also we can choose some choice of transform level and the, with the, some gauge invariant potential. And one nice thing is that uh, this uh, different microscope discretion can sometimes describe the same physics at a certain limit, such as that uh, in the, this lattice Hamiltonian, if we're taking the zero temporal limit, in that case, the, only the ground state physics are become important. And in that case, it is known that this uh, limit, the theory is described by so-called uh, bosonic topology phase, which is labeled by this, the, it can be denoted by in this way. So this is sometimes called uh, the Z2 gauge theory. And, uh, and uh, this Z2 gauge theory also can be realized using this uh, continuum field theory. So, 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 so two, two plus one dimensional quantum system can be realized uh, in the various ways and the topological phase can appear in the, some universal sector of this uh, uh, two plus one dimensional quantum system. So, uh, then, you know, I, uh, uh, Domi, I have a question now for you, for Xiao Gang. So let me, Xiao Gang, can you hear me? Yes, uh, I can hear you, yeah. I, I want to interpret, well, I want to uh, ask you about your notation. So Tauri code is donated to 4B0, so let me guess. So the four, uh, is, yeah. a, the four is a rank yeah. four. 
Yes. Yeah. The, the, the B is bosonic. The zero yeah. is the central charge. Is that correct? Yeah. That's yeah. Correct. correct. Okay. <laughs> so now no, your notation. Actually, the B is this. Uh, uh, this this is theta. The big theta. So big theta for module tensor category always uh, always one. So I I don't write one there. Use B. Okay. For fermion, okay. that big theta is zero. So you okay. can write zero or F. Okay, but okay, so. The radial diffusion category, this big theta is not one, not zero. It's some other adverse number okay. you can put there. Okay. I think this, this three number more or less, at least for simple one, kind of. Uh, okay. Separate uh, all, the, all, the, uh, all the module tensor category, uh, all the brain diffusion category. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's the Almost most uh, pronounced uh, information of a beta tensor category. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so, 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 given this kind of the some two plus one Kata system, one natural question is that the, 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 the this uh, microscopy model have a mass gap. Then, if this is a gapped system, and then the, this uh, will be described by some uh, topological field theory, and then the. So the, the problem is the how to read off this base structure, which is described by the modular tensor category of this uh, topological phase. So this is the uh, approach to the obtaining the physically constructing, theoretically constructing topological phase. So we have uh, some microscopic discretion and if this microscopic quantum system have a mass gap, then the, it will keep it will give a topological phase and then the Another question is that we should ask is that how to read up this uh, uh, modular tensor structure of this uh, gap phase is an important question. So this is a conventional approach to the topological phase. So in our talk, so in my talk, so our approach is totally different. So, so our so Microsoft construction is just, so we use some so-called M theory and uh, there is uh, some Called uh, some basic object is so called M pi brains, which, which is a six dimensional object, uh, which is a five dimension extended object. So, including time, this is a six dimensional object. Then the, we are some compacted by on the, this six dimensional object on the three manifold given by M3. Then the, it will, and the, then the size of the three manifold is very small, it will describe some two plus one dimensional kind of system. So in this way, we will construct the two plus one dimensional quantum system labeled by M3 and the K, which I call this quantum system, two plus one dimensional quantum system as a T, M3, and K. M3 is the three manifold, choice of three manifold. K is a, some natural number. A, so I will explain the more detailed uh, concrete setup of this one, but uh, so this is totally different uh, approach. So in this case, the uh, to describe this uh, uh, Microsoft description, we first choose the, the Hamilton, uh, some Hilbert space for each lattice, and we also need to choose the Hamiltonian of this lattice. Then the, it will give us some quantum system. Then the, we can check it, whether it give a gap system, then we can read a topological phase. So here cases, the, the to describe microscopic system, so we choose the gauge group and the metal content and the potential. And here, so, this quantum system is described by a choice of the internal three manifold. We, for Schimbrist, we choose the closed three manifold, a compact three manifold, and the choice of a K. So uh, the K, did you say it's a non-active integer or can it be zero? Uh, it, it, uh, in my talk, I focus on the K equal two, three, the bigger than two. But uh, okay. in my talk, I focus on the only two, K equal okay. two, for Schimbrist. Yeah, so, so maybe, you know, uh, so I assume the K is some kind of level for, you know, the model tensor category or something, but this uh, is completely independent of the three manifold? Yeah, they so, are two, no, it's a to, so there is two labeling, so independent labeling, so you can choose. They're independent, the so they, they have no relation between each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, yeah, so we can choose arbitrary three manifold and arbitrary K and the it will give us some um, quantum system. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. So, so K, so I should think about that as the K tells me how many copies of the three manifold. Oh, I don't know how many brains. K, yeah, I think yeah, you yeah, already yeah, said so. is how many yeah. copies of a brain wrap around the three manifold. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. And okay. then the three manifold is this one. And uh, so, uh, so three manifold is uh, 
this is difficult to visualize, but there is a very well way to visualize the manifold called the tensor representation. Uh, I think that most of you are already familiar with this one. So if we draw some knot or link, then the, for each component of knot or link, we assign a, some fractional number, then the, it will give us some closed uh, compact three manifold. So one nice thing is that uh, there is very well known mathematical theorem, which say that every orientable compact three manifold can be returning this form. So if you choose uh, your favorite knot or link, then the, your favorite fractional number, then the, it will give us some closed uh, compact three manifold. So throughout the, my talk, I will use this convention. So if we, we this representation, if we, I, if we see the, my knot and the, some fractional number, it describes a three manifold. Excuse me. I have so a in this question. construction, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, Thanks. So set up is this one. So, so, so in street, I'm sure there is uh, some, a basic object called empire brains, which is uh, five dimensional, which have six dimensional, five plus one dimensional extended object living in the 11 dimensional M theory. Okay. And, uh, and if we put the uh, K multiple coincident uh, empire brains in the stack, and the they are the same, then the, there will be some interaction between the empire brains. Mm -hmm. And uh, this, uh, Low energy effective volume volume theory on this empire brain is described by the so-called six-dimensional theory, which is called the 60 comma zero theory. So this is the six-dimensional theory, which is labeled by the K. Okay. So this is some six-dimensional five plus one-dimensional quantum system, which is arising from the empire brains, world volume theory on empire brain. So, so, so just guessing the notation, that's the A means this is the Lie algebra of A, like SU something? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. this is somehow related to the SUK algebra, Lie algebra. So SU is so, SU uh, at the level K minus one. I think that's that's the notation suggested, right? Ah, uh, no, it's, it's not, the, it's not the, yeah, it's level. not the, yeah, this is not the chan time level. It's, it means that, the, yeah. The Lie algebra, AK minus one Lie algebra. So, okay. so this is just a naming of this uh, sixth theory. So the, this sixth theory is uh, labeled by the choice of K. So K okay. can be two or three. Then the, there is a uh, uh, associated sixth theory. 60. So, so this is very abstract uh, sixth dimensional theory. You can- Oh, okay. Maybe I, I want to guess this right. So if you do choose K equals two, that would mean yeah. the SU2 theory. If you choose K yeah, plus yeah. three, that means the SU3 theory. That's yeah, right. yeah. So, so, okay, good. Yeah, the theory is something related to SU2 Lie algebra, but okay. the, the correct relation is still mysterious, but we okay. know that there is some relation. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, some, just the labeling of the sixth theory. So because that the, it, this sixth is very mysterious and uh, difficult to understand, just people say that this is just a uh, 60 AK minus one to come out theory. Okay. That's a conform of your theory? Yeah, it's uh, actually the component field theory and actually the spoke component field theory. It's, yeah. Okay, it's a, it's a chiral one actually. So it's a two zero. That means it's completely chiral, right? Yeah, yeah chiral. Okay. It's, a, it's a number of us. So okay. we don't know much about this theory. So the only thing we know that each theory has a two comma zero supersymmetry. So this is why people called 60. And this theory is 60 dimensional theory. So 60 two comma zero theory. And they're labeled by the K. Okay, so I got it. Okay. Uh, so since uh, you hear talk about low energy uh, reduction, so because this six dimensional theory coming from 10 dimensional theory, is that right? Uh, I think the 10 yeah. dimension is like a sigma model. I think that's the ambient space. I think a six come from yeah. this five M5 brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so in the space time is 11 dimensional. So yeah, 10 and dimensional space. Dimension. Yeah, 11 so, dimension. So, so the actual, uh, my question is so whether the actual seven dimension is compactified or open. Uh, it's open. So, and, uh, and uh, we are and, uh, only looking at uh, this uh, side. There, there is uh, some mode, uh, uh, some. Uh, there's some trip. defect plane, yeah. The six yeah, defect, and we are plane, only yeah. looking at, uh, yeah. So defect in the, this can be considered as defect in the 11 dimension or M theory. Yeah. And, uh, so, and uh, we are only looking at the theory on the defect. Yeah, so the M theory on the, uh, on the ambient space, 
if that's a gap or gapless, if that's a, a conformal, also conformal theory? Uh, 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 yeah, 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 I'm sure, yeah, this, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it's a, yeah, it's a, in a sense, the point of view, there is no, yeah, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Okay. So, so therefore, this 11 dimensional theory without defect is a gapless. And then on this gapless uh, 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 11 dimensional theory, you have a six dimensional defect, and which uh, then the, you have this effective theory on a six dimensional defect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, okay. So yeah, in general, yeah. in this setup, in general, the uh, it may not be able to separate two theory. And if you do, maybe the six dimension theory may not be always a unitary. Uh, I, I don't know. There's there's some shadow uh, related to the if a bulk is a gapless, the 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 each theory on the boundary uh, can be sometimes can be tricky. But anyway, they just a uh, side remark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so. Okay. Honestly. Yeah. This is, yeah. So we. So the, the only thing is that we can construct uh, some six-dimensional spoken form field theory yeah. from the M theory, and uh, so this is why why do we believe that this theory is really physically consistent? Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Maybe, maybe you know. I think we. You know. I, I just want to. I heard what Yagan said, but I have a slight different take. So, I want to say if this makes all sense. So, the whole setup is we have a. Uh, string theory with 11 dimension. And then yeah. inside this 11 dimension space time, we have yeah. a lot of copies of a six dimensional manifolds inside. Six I think, yeah, yeah. Exactly. but there's a, there are two interpretations. One is, as Hyogan said, we can interpret this six dimensional sub manifold as defects. But there's another interpretation I want to think is, I want, I can think about to restrict the string theory on 11 dimension onto this submanifold. And then uh -huh. we have a theory on this brains. I don't know if this makes any sense, but I think that's also a possibility. Is that, mm -hmm. that's not what, oh, I think that my question is, are you also thinking this M brain as defect of the string theory, or you think something else? So we consider this as a, Defect or some defect, and we are looking at the theory living on the defect. So okay. And oh, uh, yeah. you are using both words, <laughs> but I'm thinking you are thinking that the eleven-dimensional string theory restricted or leave on this M brain, and that's what you will get this six-dimensional superconformal field theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think you can also consider that's a defect, but I, I think it's really like you know, in the standard setup is that you have a Riemannian manifold, you have a metric, and then if you have a sub-manifold, you can restrict the metric onto the sub-manifolds. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the interpretation I have is that you restrict the string theory onto the six-dimensional manifold. And that's what you get is a super conformal one. Anyway, so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. that's another possible interpretation. Yeah. So, so yeah, so, and the, so and the, this using the so 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 string theory for the, this existence of the higher dimension theory, then the in the it is known that if there is a higher dimension theory and the so Carter Klein's idea is that if we compactify on the internal three manifold internal manifold and we will get the lower dimension theory. So the original Carter Klein's idea was was the uh, compactification of a fiber dimension theory on the sucker, then the, we will get the four dimensional theory. And this idea can be generalized. So in our cases, so using the, this six-dimensional theory and the compactification along the, this Riemann surface, which is two-dimensional, then the, we can obtain the four-dimensional theory. These kinds of theories are studied by these people. And so, so we call this library, call this theory as the sixth theory, compacted pi on the Riemann surfaces. Then the, we obtain the effectively four dimensional theory. So compact Riemann surface, and the, we obtain, and the, this the resulting four D theory is labeled by the choice of the Riemann surface and the choice of the K. And the, similarly, we can do the compactification of this uh, six D theory on the three manifold, and then the, we will obtain the this the three D theory which is denoted by Tm. 
So for simplicity in my talk, I always choose the k equal to. So this can be generalized, but for simplicity, I always assume that the k equal to. It means that the, our starting sixth theory is uh, 60A1, comma zero theory, which comes from the two m pi brains. Then the sixth theory, then the compact pi on the three manifold, then the, we obtain the effectively 3D theory. So this is the main here of theory, and then the so using this theory, I will construct topological pairs. So thing is that the using this the M theory, then the, we can construct the three dimensional theory, labeled by choice of the internal three manifold. That's the old thing I want to say here. So then the natural question is that this is uh, some TM is a uh, Three, two, two plus one dimension constant system, then the, we can ask the following question. So for which is three manifold? So this two plus one, the contact system have a mass gap. Then the, if this two plus one dimension or contact system has mass gap, then the, this should be described by the topological pay, topological field theory. Then the, we can, we, it should be possible to read up the modular test category structure of this uh, uh, gap pages. And uh, so, because this theory is uh, wholly determined by the choice of internal three manifold, and uh, this resulting modular tensor category structure also should be wholly determined by this uh, three manifold. So, if we know the three manifold and the topology of three manifold, it, sh it should, in principle, possible to lead up this uh, modular tensor structure. So, this is a basic li line. And uh, later, so the thing I want to the main goal of my talk is that uh, I will give express algorithm for given three manifold given by this the knot diagram, then the how to read up the modular tensor category structure. Not whole modular tensor category, but only the modular structure. That's uh, my goal. Okay, yeah, so. I have a question here. Oh, so go ahead, Shoga. Dimensional super component field theory now play a very important role. That's kind of like a mother theory. And uh, so you'll say this is. Six dimensional super component field theory is reasonable because coming from string M theory. I just wonder yeah. whether, in addition to that, whether there are some other things. So like uh, this six dimensional super component field theory is, uh, say, it's anomaly free, or whether it's kind of have a UV regulation, not from string theory, just as a field theory, whether there are some construction of the six dimensional super component field theory as, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. as UV completion, as a field theory, or something, whether there's some other some development in that direction. Yeah, so this is a 60 theory is the UV complete as itself. So you don't need to uh, consider this uh, M theory. But uh, if, you, if you are not, you don't like the M theory, then the, you, you can consider this as just the 60 man spoken field theory. And the, but the natural way to understand that this 60 theory is that they're using the M theory. So, but uh, if you don't like M theory, then the, you can just focus on there is some 60 man general theory. Which is you will complete as it itself. Then the, using this uh, higher dimensional theory and the compact pi on three manifold, we can obtain the three dimensional theory. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that maybe related question. Uh, maybe you will talk about later. I just want to say that what well, the super symmetry here play important role or not? So you know we could have many six dimensional conformal theory, and uh, then we can do similar computation, doing play similar game. But uh, yeah. as technical point. Whether supersymmetry here is important to help you a lot or does not matter too much. I just wonder. Uh, so, so supersymmetry is a place important role because that uh, supersymmetry is is, uh, is no supersymmetry. Then there is actually no way, no nothing to we can compute it expressly. Okay. So in that sense, supersymmetry is important. But the, in our kept pages, so supersymmetry actually does not play any role in the this kept page because that. Uh, all the physical observables are neutral on the supersymmetry transformation. I see. So the so in this sense that the, so as a tool, so supersymmetry is needed, but the, the final result, resulting theory doesn't have a supersymmetry. So this is a one good thing of our construction. So I see. So, so, so supersymmetry help you to do computation, but uh, as yeah. a principle, may not be important. Technically, yeah. And the principle. final result is that uh, it doesn't have any supersymmetry. So yeah. yeah, so <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a, that's a, glad to hear. So I have a question about uh, 
when you say this is a geometric construction, what do you mean? So when I say uh, geometric, I mean, suppose there is a Riemannian metric or somewhere, but do you have a Riemannian uh, metric yeah. somewhere? Uh, so sorry, it's a, it's a topology curve construction. Okay. So because I, I, you know, I, I just wonder, you know, if you say geometric, yeah. I would imagine there's a Riemannian metric yeah. somewhere. Yeah, so in the, in the in physics, there is a very sloppy in the... Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's fine. I think uh, you guys have your own terminology, but... Uh, yeah, so okay. this system only depends on the topology of a three manifold because, okay. because we take the size goes to zero limit mm -hmm. and the only level of information live at mm -hmm. the size Zero is the only topological data. So okay. this theory only determined by fully determined by topology. So, okay. so we should read off this base data from the topological data of the manifold. Yeah. Uh, okay, go ahead. Thanks. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so this 3D, so please remember this notation. This is very, so this is a two plus one dimension constant system labeled by three manifold. So I call this TM. And this origin is the sixth theory compact pi, sixth dimensional sixth theory compact pi on three manifold, then we obtain this full theory. But uh, anyway, you can consider this as just uh, some uh, infinitely many quantum two plus one quantum system labeled by the choice of the three manifold. So this theory has extensively studied during the last decade in string theory communities. So, and, uh, uh, yeah, so this is uh, called the so-called, in this field it's called the 3D, 3D correspond because that uh, this is called 3D, 3D because that uh, the, this is two plus one dimension quantum system is labeled by the internal three manifold. So this first 3D comes from this described two plus one dimension quantum system and the second 3D comes from the labeled by the three dimensional manifold. And the, uh, and the, uh, People develop lots of uh, things studying, first study this, uh, this uh, three manifold, such as that uh, for given three manifold, then uh, there is a way to describe the some effective continuum quantum field theory. So if we know the three manifold, and there's a way to write down the some interaction some in the continuum quantum field theory. And the more importantly, there is uh, some, there people, know to how to compute the partial function over this uh, two plus one the quantum system on the some Euclidean background. So this is called the uh, 3D relation, which is roughly says a partial function over this uh, two plus one the quantum field theory on the some Euclidean background, certain Euclidean background. This partial function can be written as uh, some invariant of uh, internal three manifold. More specifically, invariant of uh, some SL2C transcendent theory on the internal three manifold. So it means that uh, this uh, theory is uh, determined by the topology of a three manifold, and uh, if we compute uh, some Cartesian function on the some curve of some Euclidean background, and uh, this Cartesian function can be studied, can be computed by the topological information of a three manifold. So this will be very play very important law. So for example, that the uh, so in the topological case, so the Physically, we usually compute a pattern function on the, this uh, topological page on the, some this kinds of many manifold, you create a manifold. So Riemann surface times S1 and the, with a degree P bundle. And this pattern function, it, for topological page, can be computed by the, just the modular data. And uh, this pattern function on this uh, curved background can be computed by the studying the in, topological invariant of internal string manifold. This is so called the 3D, 3D relations. So, so let me give a very concrete example of the 3D, 3D relation. Here is this one. So we want to compute the 3D 2, 2 plus 1 dimensional quantum system on the, uh, this manifold, this Euclidean manifold. And then the, it, it turns out that uh, this pattern function can be written as this mathematical topological invariant of a 3 manifold. Here, this is a uh, summation is over the some irreducible sl 2 c flat connection on the three manifold. And the, for each sl 2 c flat connection, there is a, some topological invariant called the John Simon invariant and the Leidenmeier torsion, adjoint Leidenmeier torsion. So if you sum over this, uh, so if you three manifold and the, you compute the irreducible flat connection, then the 
sum of this all related flow function with weighted by this topological invariant. This 3D theory lays out that this can't decompute the, this pattern function on this background. This is a very, very non-trivial relation. So for especially when the peak or zero cases, it means that uh, we are computing pattern function on the direct sum of Riemann surface times S1. And this pattern function actually compute the ground state degeneracy on Riemann surface G of this theory. So, so, th so I, I just want to ask this. So the summation is over a completed data on the three manifold. And the only information which come out of the manifold B is the number G and the P, right? So, yeah, so the formula on the right, which depends on B, the only thing which depends on B is the number P, which is E two pi I P, yeah, P and then and the, G. the G. So that's the only information is remembered. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, so, so, so depending on the uh, background you are putting on the, this quantum system, then the, the resulting, the corresponding topological quantity is different, but the difference appears in this simple way. And, uh, so, yeah. So, so, for G, so for G yeah. equals one, yeah. the only thing which remember is the P. Yeah, only thing remember is the P and the, this is the So for especially then the P equals zero cases, this correspond, this pattern function correspond to counting of the ground state degeneracy. So this should be the integer value. So, and uh, from this expression, it is not obvious that uh, when P equals zero, this is whether this is become the integer or not. But actually from the actual computation, we can check that uh, this right hand side, topology quantity actually become an integer when the P equals zero cases. So this is very non-trivially con non consistent that this dictionary. So this is a, this is a, String theory version of the Wolinda formula. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. So string. Yeah. So so it, this can be thought as some um, Wolinda formula computed using the internal topological information of the internal manifold. So wow. yeah. That's, so that's, that's so, so this amazing. derivation is very quite non-trivial, and uh, but uh, I'm just uh, presenting the left. So some. This pattern function on the some covered background can be completed by the topological uh, invariant of the internal three manifold. This is a basic uh, statement of 3D3D relation. So by computing this uh, topological, uh, some pattern function, we can read of the lots of information of this uh, 3D theory from topological information of this uh, internal three manifold. This is uh, later, so this is uh, how I can obtain the, the modular S and T matrix from the, this uh, topological invariant of three manifold. So flat corrections uh, are uh, in physics notation described by some real algebra with one form, which, which is satisfying these difference equations. And uh, in mathematics, more rigorous, uh, more precise definition is that some homomorphism from fundamental group two, SL2C up to conjugation. And uh, and these two notations are related by in this way. And uh, so I will call that this uh, plaque connection, low alpha is a uh, reducible, reducible when the, when this uh, all holomy, the image of this homomorphism are all commute, then the, we, I will call this as a reducible and the, I will call this a irreducible so otherwise. So to count this uh, number of irreducible plaque connection, the only information we only knew know is that the fundamental group. If we know the fundamental group, then the, by computing this uh, count, solving this homomorphism, then the, we can obtain the, this uh, number of irreducible flat connection. And the, for each irreducible flat connection, there is uh, some associated topological invariant called the Chan Simon invariant and the uh, uh, like torsion. So, uh, so, so this, this uh, for each, uh, for each plaque connection, so this is uh, some appears as a center point of SL two J Chan Simon theory, and then we can do the some perturbative expansion, and then this uh, classical part correspond to the so called the Chan Simon invariant, which is defined by in this way, and then one part is called the Leisinger light my torsion, which is also going to lay torsion. This is a very well defined mathematical some invariant of the plaque connection. 
So, yeah, so, so this is the only the topological invariant we need to remember. So, so three manifold, if we know the fundamental group, then the, we can construct uh, some irreducible flag connection. And the, for each irreducible flag connection, we can compute the, some topological invariant called the Chansaimo invariant uh, and the Leisinger Leidemann torsion. Then, the, then the using this uh, topological invariant, then we can construct a modular structure later. So, or maybe, uh, can you go back? Just so, I thought if you do the perturbation, uh, you can also see the imaginary part, which uh, the volume of the three manifolds comes in. So, should that be a term? Well, I think it will be zero in your case, which is the hyperbolic volume of the three manifold M should show up somewhere in your perturbation. Uh, uh, here, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, here, yeah, yeah, it's a, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, this, this one, yeah, this one is, uh, because this uh, flat connection is on the, flat connection on the three manifold, so, yeah, yeah, so. so that, okay, I, I think, okay, I think that's actually, would be a complex number, but in the particular yeah. case, I think the word is, okay. Yeah, this is a like, complex number, generally. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So it's the, it's the complexified transimal then. Yeah, uh, complex part of the Yeah, this okay. is a uh, Okay, no? I see. So, and the, this is what people know about this 3D TM theory, and the, using this uh, known result, we will uh, answer the following question. So, for which is 3 manifold, it will give a topological page, and if was this 3 manifold give a topological page, and how to lead, lead up the modular tensor cutter structure. This is a uh, question. So let me give the answer to the, this question. So, so our claim is that if three manifolds, if all the irreducible flag connections are real, it means that all the flag connections are conjugate to S32 or S2R, then the, we will claim that the, this 3D system is a, have a topological theory. So, so if three manifolds satisfy this condition, then the, this 3D quantum system have a gap and become a topological theory, and then the, we can consider the associated topological quantum field theory associated this three manifold. So uh, we call this the topological page as a TFTM. This is a topological quantum field theory associated with the three manifold M, which is satisfying these conditions. Well, so uh, I, this is a picky question. So uh, at the, the, your question is for which three manifold this has a mass gap, and your answer yeah. is uh, if the flat connections are all either SU2 or SL2R, and then they will be topological. So I assume you use the word topological also mean it could be gapless, like you know non-unitary theory or something. If that's uh, the well, yeah. your question is uh, if you know, when this will be, uh, has a mass gap, but your answer didn't yeah, say yeah. mass gap, you say topological, which assume you mean it could be non-unitary, which most people yeah, believe yeah. is gapless. Yeah, yeah, so, so, yeah, so, so, yeah, so this is very soft part and a very important part. And uh, so, so if this is satisfied, then the, there's two possibility. If this condition is that, the one is that this theory has a, Gap to pace, mm -hmm. then the this theory, and then the this this, this and the, then the, there's a associated topological phase always unitary. Okay. And the some okay. cases, okay. yeah, some cases even though this condition is satisfied, and the, we sometimes find that this three theory is not gap to system. Okay. But the, in okay. even that cases, this this gap this theory contains uh, some topological theory as a subsector, mm -hmm. and the. Uh, that case is also we can consider the topological page associated to the three manifold. In that case, this topological page is always non unitary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, a related question here. Uh, this SL2C, is that a, a, a bundle over M or is a tangent bundle over M? Uh, um, uh, of M? Sorry? This so, SL2C, this yeah, so. You have SL2C flat connection, but this SL2C is a is a uh, is some kind of SL2C bundle over M. 
or it is yeah. a tiny the bundle of arm. It's not it's not tiny the bundle, right? Yeah, so it's a yeah. So this is a bundle on the SL two chip bundle on the three manifold M. An independent bundle, not related to not related to the tangent bundle. Not directly. Uh, what, yeah. It's not I, related to the tangent bundle of M. Not related to the tangent bundle of M. Uh, I, um, I think you are yeah. right. I would say yes. Okay. <laughs> so I think actually, Shogun, I think you are right. I think this is a, you should think this as a uh, SO2C principal bundle over the three manifold. Yeah. But I think in, uh, in Domi's thinking, he does not think about manifold at all, bundle. He's thinking about a flat connection is just a uh, homomorphism from the fundamental group of the three manifolds okay. to SO2C. Yeah. Okay, now I see. Uh, yeah. yeah, then you can construct the bundle backwards if you yeah, want yeah, yeah. to. Okay. I, I mean, yeah. Yes. So this is uh, our topology criterion to have a topology page. So our claim is that uh, if three manifolds satisfy this condition, then the, we can consider associated topology page. This is uh, our claim. So real means that it can be conjugate to SL2 or SL2, R, and it means that all the whole trace of a holonomic matrix, SL2 holonomic matrix, are real for every fundamental group element. So you may first wonder whether there is a, such an example. So this is, uh, condition seems to be very, uh, very strong. So you may wonder whether there exists, really exists three manifolds that define this topology criterion. And actually there is an uh, infinity many uh, example of topology page. This is a simple example. So uh, three manifold, which is uh, given by this uh, Tensor is a representation labeled by three fractional number. So our claim is that uh, this three fraction uh, non hypothetical three manifold labeled by this three fractional number all satisfy the, this uh, topology criteria. Uh, yeah. So this is so so for these cases we can consider topological pace, topological field theory associated with this three manifold. And from this uh, tensor is a representation we can write down the fundamental group. So, which is uh, given by some three four generators and uh, some relations, four relations. Uh, and so, are you, I, I just wonder, are you, I don't know if you can deduce, but well, there are people here who are better than me. Do you need to assume H is a central, which is H commute with XI? Uh, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. So, I, I forgot to write down the, the H should be central, yeah. So, there's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, sorry. So, so yeah, so H should be central and this is by this relation. Then, yeah, yeah, that's good. Then the, this homomorphism can be solved. Yeah, this, not uh, a mathematician, don't worry. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So it can be solved with this equation and of the conjugation. Then the, we can check that the, all the ideas of relations are actually the real. It means that uh, if we compare the trace of this, uh, any element of fundamental group holonomy, then this is always real. So for, as a concrete example, we choose three manifold to be, this is a fractional number, it should be three, three, and this number. And uh, actually we can check that there's only three ideas of flag matrix whose polar matrix can be expressly given. Is that the so, Ising theory? Uh, this theory, uh, I, uh, yeah, I will, I will, so this is the main example of my talk, so I, we will see that which is really, really okay. correspond. This should <laughs> correspond to length three, some length three. Uh, it's a rank point. three module tensor category. Now you can guess what it is. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, this is also bosonic topology page, and then the, there's only finite number of uh, the candidate, and then the, it corresponds to one of them. Yeah, we will see. And there is some physical argument why reasoning, but uh, I will skip this part. And this is a rather technical. So, this is some, so we can give a physical reasoning why this is true. And then the, this is a main uh, result of this one. So, so for simplicity, we first assume the M has a trivial set to homology. In that case, it turns out that this topology page always is a bosonic topology page. And the, in the bosonic topology page, and the, can be described as the modular tensor category. And the, in in our in our work, we only can reproduce the this uh, modular structure of this modular tensor category. So this is an algorithm to obtain the, this the modular structures. 
So first, uh, we should determine the length of this uh, topological phase, and uh, and uh, these uh, anions are one to one correspond to with the uh, irreducible SL two C flat connections on this manifold. For in the previous cases, there is a three irreducible flat connection. It correspond to uh, so length three bosonic topological phase. And uh, some this S uh, so. So, so S and T matrix among them, this this, uh, this uh, S scale this part is related to so called the quantum dimension of this uh, anion, and this quantum dimension can be related by the one over by the my torsion of this flat connection. So we know the flat connection, then we can compute this uh, light my torsion using mathematical technique. Then the, it course it gives the some quantum dimension of this anion. And we can also determine the topological spin of these uh, anions associated with the irreducible flat connection by computing the transimer function of this uh, uh, irreducible flat connection. So one natural thing is that uh, here is uh, this is just set of the irreducible flat connection. In the this, in the this anion, there is a special anion called the zero anion, and uh, so to make uh, this uh, spin to compute this spin, we also need to specify which irreducible flat connection corresponds to this uh, trivial anion. And uh, there is a con condition we can determine the, this uh, uh, anion. So if uh, this uh, flat connection corresponds to this trivial anion, then this, this flat connection satisfies this relation. From this relation, we can determine the, which one, which irreducible flat connection be become a trivial anion. So if we pick the trivial anion, then we can also study the topological spin of this uh, old anion from this uh, formula. So, so basically, so if we know the information of the flat connection and the their torsion and the transimer invariant, then the, we can basically can uh, obtain the information of the anion's quantum dimension and the anion's topological spin. This is a uh, basic algorithm. And, 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 uh, so, and uh, so one may ask that whether there is always this kind of irreducible flat connection satisfying this uh, relation, but uh, in three manifold satisfying this condition, we, we conject that uh, this kind of irre special irreducible flat connection always exists, and uh, we can check that for many examples. So using, so far this one, we can determine the, some, some part of the modular data and uh, we further argue that uh, we can pull determine the modular data some using some some more complicated algorithm. Some I will explain them more later. But anyway, so using this algorithm, we can at least determine the contents of the anions and uh, some quantum dimension of anion and the topological spin of anions. And uh, more some I mean, there are some complicated computation. Then the, we can also compute the full S and T matrices. So this is uh, our main result. So, so here uh, I have a question. So uh, for B, what you claim is that if you have a Z2 homology sphere, then it's a yeah. bosonic TQFT. So yeah. this is, you know, in math, we call a sufficient condition. So this is a Z2 homology three sphere. It's sufficient for you to conclude you will get a bosonic TQFT. Yeah. Is this condition is also necessary? Which means, do you have example, which is not yeah. a homology three sphere, but it's also bosonic yeah. TQFT? Yeah, we have example. So, so okay, you do. This, yeah, the two homology is uh, non-trivial. Then the, we can or further determine the whether this is the. Uh, sometimes it become homionic and the, sometimes it become bosonic, and the, we yeah. can also determine the whether the resulting theory is a homionic. Okay. So this is just one condition, which is sufficient. Yeah, one condition. Yeah. This is sufficient, but uh, not uh, necessary. Yes, okay, good. But even that two homology is non-trivial, so uh, we can also can carry out some bosonic topological phase. Okay. Yeah, here, I have a question here. So the B money for your truth can be uh, some kind of twisted uh, torus, you know, some kind of, uh, but the, 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 the genius G can be more than one, you know, you have, you have a G there in your formula. So it can be genus two Riemann surface, a genus three Riemann surface, and etc. So, so I wonder if you are using those, can you construct something more than this modular data? Some your uh, partition function uh, may contain data beyond the modular data. Yeah. So, so 
in this series, uh, using this uh, uh, 3D 3D relation, we can compute the pattern function on this uh, manifold. Okay. And the, this manifold pattern function all determined by only modular data. It's not oh, beyond the yeah. yeah. So, the, so I see that, uh, there's a let's see, there's a mapping torus whose the fiber is yeah, yeah. Uh, by G. Yeah. But uh, that yeah, is yeah. Cool. yeah, but uh, so, I don't know how to compute the that pattern function. So we can oh, only I compute the manifold. So this is a reason it's difficult to go beyond the modular structure. Okay, thank you so, very much. Yeah. I think Shogun, what you are asking is something we are all interested, in, which is, you know, can you get the representation of the mapping class group? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that would be yeah. beyond. Okay. Yeah, uh, for yeah. Higher yeah, for higher Yeah, for high genus. Yeah, the, the representation yeah. of the mapping class group. That that's yeah. what we are. Yeah. We can only, unfortunately, so far we can only obtain the mapping class group for genus one cases. Yeah, he can only get genus one mapping class group, and then he can get the degeneracy. They are all from modular data right now. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So th that's the yeah, limitation of uh, our algorithm so far. So I hope so we can, yeah, some, some, yeah, some extend to co computer, yeah, more genus, higher genus mapping class group, yeah. So this is a example. So I think I don't need to explain the modular, what is modular structure over the to you. I think so, that's pretty safe. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I think that uh, the modular data contains a lot of information, such as that ground state degeneracy can be fully determined by this uh, modular data. Also, topless spin also determined by this modular data. And the fusion coefficient also can be determined by this modular data. And the, but the, and the, and the lots of the Euclidean pattern function also can be determined by, wholly determined by modular data. So one famous example is this degree P bundle of Riemann space G. Riemann surface also can fully determined by this modular data. But uh, it is known that this the model data is incomplete because that uh, if we uh, so from the model data we cannot compute the pattern function of a three sphere with this uh, hop link. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is the hop link. So there is a limitation that and uh, then the actually there is a example that the two different modular tensor category has the same modular data but the, as a modular tensor category is different. So so only the modular data is, is not the, uh, enough to distinguish the topological phase, but uh, yeah, so, but it contains uh, lots of information. By the way, uh, you're not a topologist, so that's okay. It's not the half link, that's the y head link. Ah, yeah, sorry, this is the uh, <laughs> that half link. Yeah, half link can be already completed, just estimate it, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's a high, yeah, hyperbolic. <laughs> this is a y hat link. Yeah, yeah, sorry, y hat link. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is the, yeah. And uh, so far, I explained the uh, from topology phase, then we can construct the S and T matrices, but uh, we can do the reverse engineering. So we can try to classify the, this uh, modular, uh, to modular topologic phase by solving the, some conscious condition for this uh, modular structures. So this is uh, done by these people in the audience and beautifully done by these people. And uh, so all the bosonic topology page, topo bosonic topology page up to bosonic length four is classified. So at least uh, we can identify the modular structures and the, that's uh, the, all the modular structures, possible modular structure up to length four. So uh, you you give some examples which are the uh, Zypher fiber space with the three singular fibers. Yeah. So are they all rank three or the rank four? You need some other manifold. So the, yeah, so it can be uh, depending choice of the three fractional number. It can have uh, infinity many. Uh, so so yeah. Oh, I see. So yeah, so the, but the so in this table. It's all covered by uh, Zypher fiber spaces with the three singular fibers. Is that yeah. true? Okay. Yeah, that's true. But the three singular fiber manifold can contain the more, more topology page also. Okay, so Higher the rack can go to infinity, as you said. Yeah, length back infinity, but uh, we just only check the up to length four because there is a very uh, okay. beautiful classification. We, it was our first target to reverse okay. all these topology okay. page and. Uh, we succeed that's uh, yeah. 
So yeah, this is the main result. So using this the main result, and then we will do the actual computation. And the, this is, the derivation of this one is uh, you know, simple because that the, as I mentioned, that we know the, how to compute the Poisson function on the Riemann surface times S1 with the P bundle. And this is determined by the so modular data. So from the this identification, we can determine that this modular data is related by this topological information. And this equation also simply follow from the some SL2G relation of this SN T matrices. So and uh, I, I to fully determine this modular S and T matrix, we need additional information, so called the flat connection to robot bit map. Uh, but uh, let me skip this part. This, this is rather so complicated. But anyway, so there is a algorithm to construct S and T matrix fully, not only this uh, the quantum dimension and topological. Let me skip this part. So let me give a concrete example. So. As I mentioned, this uh, three chiponte pi manifold satisfy this topological criterion, and uh, this all manifold give us some topological phase, a uh, topological topological field theory. So one nice thing is that uh, there is a very explicit formula for the Chan Simon function, Chan Simon term, Chan Simon invariant, and the torsion invariant are known. So if we solve this uh, uh, homo have a homomorphism from the holonomy matrices, you can easily compute this the Chan Simon uh, invariant of flat connection and the torsion of this uh, adjoint torsion of this flat connection very explicitly using this uh, known formula. So this uh, example is very good. So in a sense that uh, we this example satisfies the topology criterion and uh, there's a well-known uh, formula to compute this basic topology invariant of this it is flat connections. So using this explicit formula, so we can scan the, this uh, type of pi manifold and lead of this modular structure associated with this uh, three manifold. So as I mentioned for this example, there is a irreducible flat connection, and we can compute the Chan Simon invariant for this three manifold. A three irreducible flat connection, we obtain the, this result, and then the recall that this. Uh, the torsion, uh, this topological spin of this uh, anion can be computed by the, this one. So applying this, uh, our dictionary, then we obtain the topological spin spectrum is given by this one. This, there are three anions whose topological spin is given by this one, and the quantum dimension is determined by this one. Then the, we can compare this, uh, uh, some classification table. So this is, should, is a length three, so it should be one of them. And this is also bosonic. Some Z2 homology is trivial, so it should be bosonic. Then the, there is only six candidates, and the, it if we compare the topological spin spectrum, that it nicely matches with this one. So recall that recall that topological spin is only defined by mode one. So this spectrum is exactly the same as this one. And the, we can also determine the poor S matrices, and the, this also matches with the, some full S matrix of this uh, topological phase. So in this way, so for this manifold, we can lead up the modular S and T matrix and the image with the modular data of this uh, topological phase. And in this way, we can scan the, all the three manifold and the, then the, by changing this uh, fractional number, and then the, we obtain the, this, uh, we can reproduce all the bosonic topology phase up to length four. So using only this uh, three manifold. And uh, we didn't scan the higher length cases. Anyway, we can reproduce all the bosonic topology phase up to length four from this uh, three manifold using that the algorithm I introduced. So some cases, uh, so for given three manifold and uh, in this uh, three, Three fiber the three manifold, we can read off this uh, modular data. And sometimes the resulting modular data is uh, sometimes non unitary So, so, so non unitary means that uh, this S matrix is set by this relation. Then the, you may wonder that we start from some unitary theory and uh, some compact equation on three manifold. Then the, then the, I, we were, at first we puzzled with uh, this, uh, 
emergence of non unitary TKFT, but uh, we found some physical reason that uh, uh, we analyzed this uh, 3D quantum system associated with this 3-manifold, then it turns out that this system is actually have uh, some additional Luan symmetry. And uh, so we see that this non-unitary topological page because we ignore this Luan symmetry. So in a sense that uh, that this quantum system is actually the capitalist system with the Luan flavor symmetry, then if we turn on the, some background uh, gauge field coupled to the Luan gauge field, then the, this Hachian function uh, behave like uh, some Hachian function of a non-unitary TKFT. This is uh, why that we can get uh, some non-unitary TKFT. So this is uh, uh, our interpretation of the how the non-unitary system can appear in the, this theory. So in this way, so not only the unitary TKFT, also non-unitary TKFT also can be at, uh, obtained from this uh, three manifold. So this is a main result. And uh, so I also briefly mentioned about the uh, non-trivial Z2 homology cases. For that cases, so three manifold, 3D theory is actually not fully determined by choice of the three manifold, but also depend on the choice of the H, where H is the subgroup of Z2 homology group. So, yeah, so, so in that case, this uh, 3D theory is uh, not valid by the choice of the three manifold and also the choice of the, this subgroup of homology group. So, and in the previous cases, this subgroup is a this group, group, homology group was trivial, so there's no non trivial subgroup. So, this is why there's only one choice. But in general, there's a uh, non trivial subgroup, then so this is the, and this one. And uh, so, for simplicity, we define that this TM as the choice of corresponding the full Z2 homology and the trivial subgroup as denoted by T tilde. And there's also some another choices depending on this subgroup. Then, then the one nice thing is that this Z2 homology plays some role as a symmetry on the, this topological page. So topological, so this display lower is a symmetry. So there's two topological pairs, T tilde and the T. And the, this T tilde theory has one form symmetry as over H1, Z2 homology as one form symmetry. And this T -T TM theory can be obtained by gauging of this one form symmetry of T tilde. So these two theories are related by some one form symmetry gauging or some sometimes called uh, uh, annual condensation. So in this case, so, so in summary, so in this case, the two homology non trivial cases, there's a variant topology page appears and they are all related by the annual condensation of this uh, symmetry. And uh, also, so for given some, some uh, anion, symmetry genetic anion, we can also determine that whether this uh, anion is bordering and permeating from the topological data then the, if this uh, theory has uh, some homionic anion, then the, after homionic uh, condensation, we obtain the homionic topological phase. If these all uh, anions are bordering, then the, we obtain the bordering topological phase. So in this way, so we can also obtain the homionic phase or so bordering phases. So in this way, so we give uh, some unitar unified framework of bordering and the pomeony and the unitary and then the topology phase. So if we, depending on the which three main poly you choose, we can also obtain the bordering topology phase or some uh, pomeony topology phase or unitary and then unitary topology phase. So, uh, so. A, a question. Uh, this yeah. is non-unitary topological phase. Uh, yeah. That means uh, uh, some kind of super conformal field theory, so that its partition function is a topological invariant. Yeah, that's the uh, yeah we obtain. So the theory is actually super conformal field theory, but the partition function at the some some like, yeah yeah. So, so is it uh, is well known that the non-unitary TKFT can be realized in that way? Yeah, so so that, that's my question. Whether this is so-called non-unitary topological phase. 
actually correspond to su doubtless the superconformal field theory. You know, when you have a certain special boundary condition, yeah, and then the the partition function of superconformal field theory turn out to be topology invariant. So is that the yeah, that's the that's our observation. I'm not sure whether it is already known. So yeah, okay. yeah. So do you know anything similar to yours? Or, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, so, yeah, that's actually my question is falling. Is maybe in your example whether your non-unitary theory always correspond to a superconformal field theory in three in two plus one dimensional space mani space time manifold. Yeah, in our case, it always correspond to some because spoke component filter theory with additional U1 symmetry, then the depending on, so using the, this U1 uh, symmetry, we can choose some boundary condition or turning on the background field, yeah. then the it pattern function behavior like a topological okay. uh, function, and the, then the pattern function is described by the non-unitary topological phase. Thank so, you. so yeah, this is a, we, how we obtain, but uh, I'm not sure that, yeah, so, it is known or so. I don't know how to realize the non-unitary TKFD in the condensed matter. Do you know or, or how to no, realize yeah. <laughs> do, do you know? No, I don't. Uh, yeah, uh, so. I have a diff oh, sorry, go ahead. I have a different question. Oh, so, sorry? so okay. Uh, I, I thought you want to, f did you finish the discussion about non-unitary? Top particle uh, tensor. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. So, okay. So yeah. I have a question about this uh, condition about fermionic or bosonic. So, you know, there's this well-known correspondence between Z2 cohomology or homology, doesn't matter, with spin structures. And for each spin structure of a three manifolds, there's a famous uh, Rockne invariant thing. I think it's called, I forgot, a Brown invariant or Rockne invariant which has to do with the signature divisible by 16. I wonder your condition for Yeta, which is a bosonic or fermionic, that's the same thing as the, I think it's called the Brown invariant of a spin structure is a zero uh, or one. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, so I don't know that the story, but it seems to be very related. So, uh, yeah, so if this, uh, this is a uh, non-trivial. Then the it, it there is uh, some spin structure choices uh, for for each eta, mm -hmm. and uh, so there is uh, some uh, some some so we consider some PSL to see uh, some PSL to see connection. Then the, it can be oblique to the SL to see some certain cases. Okay. Then the then the way of omnipotent Way is not unique for this case. Okay. It's not okay. And uh, this condition said that uh, this, uh, if we compute uh, this transcendent functional of the, this omnipotent transcendent function, then the, they are all equal, then the, the resulting theory is bosonic, and they are different, deeper by the half, then the, it corresponds to okay. quantum phase. And I'm not sure whether that's the uh, same as what you. Okay, I'm, I'm guessing probably they are. So I think instead of, you know, Z and the Z plus one half is really should be 16 Z and the Z plus 16 Z plus eight or something. So there's a there's a 16 involved somewhere. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Anyway, so that that seemed to be a natural thing uh, to decide is a bosonic or fermionic. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So let me finish my talk. So so this is summary. So some three manifold with uh, some certain property and uh, this certain property only only can be satisfied for non hyperbolic cases so some non hyperbolic three manifold with a certain property we uh, we propose that uh, there is a uh, should be associated topological field theory labeled by this three manifold and uh, we give an uh, express algorithm extracting the modular structure of a topological phase associated with three manifold and uh, then we can also give uh, some effective supersymmetric gauge theory for this description for this uh, topological phase. And, uh, and we can also, non-unitary TKFT also can be obtained in this way. Uh, this appears as some uh, subsect of a unitary CFT with some certain boundary condition or 
with a certain background gauge field. And in this way, we give uh, some unified framework of topological phase and uh, so bosonic and fermionic and the unitary non unitary topological phase are treated equally. So just the choice depending on the choice of three manifolds and uh, this will give a different topological phase. So in, in our project connect uh, these uh, three interesting topics, M theory and the supersymmetric counter field theory and the mathematics of three manifolds and the topological phase in the condensed matter. So there are lots of uh, things we can study. So obvious thing is that we only can determine the modular data and uh, we know that there is uh, additional data beyond the modular data. And uh, then the, we don't know how to read off this uh, structure beyond the modular data from the geometric side. And uh, this is a very interesting question. And, uh, and uh, we don't know the, the true classification of three main photos satisfying that topology criteria. So we give uh, some simple example labeled by three fractional number, and we claim that uh, these three manifolds satisfy that topology criterion, but uh, we also find that there are more three manifolds satisfy this topology criterion. So we don't know the full classification of the three manifolds satisfy this topology criterion. And uh, it would be interesting to classify the, all these kinds of the three manifolds, which give a topological page. And uh, we in this talk, I only focused on to get the number of n pi range two for simplicity, and uh, this can be also naturally generalized. If we increase the higher k, then the, we should consider SL and SLKC flat connections, which is more complicated. But anyway, so you can compute it. And uh, so, so there are lots of some manifolds, three manifolds, exotic three manifolds, and uh, satisfy this criterion, then the, maybe the corresponding topological phase have some exact behavior, then the, we may try to find a very exotic topological phase from the, this uh, geometric construction. And uh, another thing is that uh, using this uh, uh, three manifold and topological phase correspondence, we can relate the physics of topology orders to the mathematics of non four three manifold. For example, that uh, uh, some, some universal pro property of topological phase can be translated to the mathematical theorem on the three manifold. So, we, so for example, we can give uh, such kind of very concrete uh, conjectures. If all irreducible SL2 flat connections are, on, are real, it means that the corresponding uh, theory has become topological. Then the, we can claim that uh, this, should, this three manifold satisfies these conditions. Summation of the one over torsion should be always one. This comes from the fact that uh, uh, so S scale is identity. So, so or equivalently the, the ground state degeneration on the S2 is always uh, one. So this topological uh, information, uh, the universal property of topological phase implies that this, this kind of relation should be satisfied in the three manifold. And actually we can check that the various example, this is always satisfied. And we can also, uh, also give us some uh, another condition such as this one. This follows from the some modular structure of this topological phase. So in this way, so so if there is some, some universal uh, property of a topological phase on the modular data, then the, using our correspondence, it can be translated to some mathematical uh, conjecture on the, this non-approval uh, three manifold. Uh, so thank you for your attention. Yeah. Let me stop you. Thanks. Great, very good. Yeah, great. So uh, feel free I, to unmute and clap if you like. <laughs> <laughs> so I have lots of questions, but I think I, we asked already. So maybe you should let the audience, other people, do they have questions first before we, we ask or I ask? Uh, I have a question. Hello, can, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Sean. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, for your construction, uh, is there a in, uh, inverse direction by f going from uh, topological phase to to three manifold? Uh, like, given a topological phase or uh, modular tensor category, can you construct a uh, the corresponding three manifold? Uh, that yeah, we don't know yeah how to do it. So it's uh, only that. Uh, from three manifold to topological phase, but uh, we don't know the some opposite algorithm. So 
some, some cases, different three manifold can give the same modular structure. Yeah, actually, and I'm so, about to ask this question. Do you have an example of a two, three manifolds give you the same modular tensor category? Yeah, so uh, now here I cannot reproduce, but uh, I, in the, in the, I found the, uh, many examples that. Uh, that you see the paper. Was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, I scanned uh, this uh, manifold. And then the, I found that the different choice of the fractional numbers uh -huh. give the same modular data. So it is okay. not the one to one. Yeah. So yeah. So our ambitious uh, claim is that uh, it this map is uh, surjective. But yeah. So we only check that the, is it surjective up to length pole for bosonic topological phase, only using this uh, this class of three manifold. But I think this is a very promising because. Uh, there's a uh, more three manifolds at my topology, sure. this topology yeah. criterion. And also we can also increase number of empire brains. So mm -hmm. we only scan the very small set of this uh, whole story, but even this small set, we can reproduce uh, all the ordinary topology page up to length four. So I, I think that, so, and, the, and the, we, we only, uh, try to scan the, this ordinary the topology page and the, we may try to, uh, scan the permanent topological phase or non-unitary topological phase. So do you know any reference literature who studied that kind of classification, classification of uh, non-unitary topological phase up to length of four or something like that? I think it's no. Yeah, yeah. That's by Eric Student, I think. Uh, I see. Yeah, uh, so I... Paul Burad, I, Paul Burad, he classified up to rank four of them, I think. Or, or the non-unitary? I think now you're too, right? I see. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and in fact, so I, I, I did have a question about this non-unitary versus unitary situation. So all of the, certainly up to rank four, any non-unitary modular tensor category can kind of be realized by something unitary. They're, they're sort of just weakly non-unitary in the sense that the same fusion rules would always show yeah. up for some unitary theory. Yeah. So yeah, this so is not... So, so in rank mm -hmm. six, there's an example where this fails. So that would be a really interesting one to try to realize in your scheme. I see. So, so you mean that? The, so there is a, some non-unitary TQFT at the rank six, which doesn't have a, some Galois conjugation to unitary. Yes. Yes. You're right. That's right. In in fact, technically in rank four, that's also true because I think it's in your paper. If you take Yang Li tensored with Fibonacci, then you get a minus one quantum dimension, and so you have no chance of Galois conjugation. But the same fusion rules, of course, are the same as Fibonacci squared. But in rank six in particular, there's one one example which I, I can point you to at some point. Um, but that would be really interesting. Because as far as I know, nobody nobody knows how to construct the like a conformal field theory f that would yeah. correspond to this. So 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 if this theory can appear that this is our story. It means that this theory really exists. So I'm not sure that if we just do the, some consistent condition imposing on the SNT matrix, it, we obtain some uh, solution. I think that it does not guarantee that there exists topological phase of, uh, because there could be additional constraint we missed. But in our construction, if, if this, Topology page can be realized in our construction. It automatically guarantees that this topology page actually exists because that uh, we have uh, some UV description, complete healthy UV description, and which flow to this topology page. So, are you so 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 you find uh, this uh, very exotic non-unitary TKFT by requiring some consistent condition and SNT matrices? This is how you obtain or? No, in fact, you can obtain it from um, fractional level SO5. I so see. you take SO5 at a fractional level. So this, this construction actually is algebraic. It comes from quantum groups. And so yeah. you, can, you can very explicitly prove, basically it's Reshetik and Turayev type. I see, um, I see. But uh, so yeah. Yeah, so, so it is proven that the existence is proven. So, yeah, you mean, yeah. It does exist. Yeah, it, it, it does exist <laughs> as modular tensor category. Yeah. 